What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we are back at it. We are out here at Insurance Auto Auctions at IAA. We're going to take a look at some of the different stuff. Now earlier in the week I did look at a couple different vehicles. We saw that EOS rolling shell and we also saw that excursion. I'm going to try to find both of those while we're out here today. But uh, let's see if we find anything else that's uh, interesting. Roll that intro. Perfect. All right, guys, welcome on back to Insurance Auto Auctions. And today we're going to roll through and see what we can find out here. See if there's any uh, good prospected or, or prospects for a uh, pickup. The Saturn is still here for you guys that might have seen that earlier in the week. Uh, I am looking, I'm willing to bet it's in the other lot, but we'll walk this way first. I want to find it. I need to find that EOS and I need to find that excursion for sure. But, <clears throat> oh man, hey, there's that Chrysler 300 that had the bullet hole in it. Um, you guys really didn't get a chance to see it. It's here from the auto sales. Look at this. That's like a straight bullet hole right in the damn car, man. Went into the fender. This one's here from some auto sales. Huh. Damn. It's got an older one. It was here from State Farm and then picked up by a dealer. And I guess the dealer was like, nope, we're going to sell that joint. There's the other EOS. Now, this is the EOS. This was the EOS that we bid on the first time a couple times. And now I'm good on it, man. I, I liked it because the panels and stuff were good. But now with the interior like this, yeah, no. So... Now, I know some of y'all going to say, what about this Monte Carlo, TK? Uh, no, I'm good. Mismatch hood. Different, like, this thing's been, oh, yeah, this thing's been wrecked a few times. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. I would like to find me a nice SS Monte Carlo, though. I would. I would enjoy that. All right, so I'm not seeing the excursion out here because I would see it just looking across the yard. So I'm willing to bet they have it in the other section. So we'll uh, we'll walk over to that other section and see what we're able to find, shall we? Wonder if that CJ on 32's Jeep. Y'all see that? Woo! Y'all go support his channel too, though, man. I, I feel bad. It sucks when something like that happens to you. You know, the man just bought, just got the damn Jeep, the Hellcat Jeep. I don't know, I think he said he had it like 15 minutes and boom, went up in flames. That always sucks. Oh. All right. Yeah, we've already looked at this 370Z. You can go look at the last walk around we did out here if you guys want to see videos on that. Same thing with the Mustang. We've already looked at that. So. Take a look at this uh, Vanderhall Venice. That's kind of nice. This one is not as clapped out or busted as the last one I saw out here. The last one I saw out here was like fucked up, as they say. All right, this one does have. This one's going to need some work. Oof, got some broken suspension, broken axles. Hopefully, it didn't break anything in the actual trans but whew. you'd need a new fiberglass front right suspension sway bar a couple other things yeah it could be done it's a base venice 2019 it's clean definitely clean 160 miles an hour? Wow. 
I mean, this this is a little nicer, a little bit different than what you see with a um, like a Polaris joint, you know, than a slingshot. I think they look cool, man. I think they look cool. I don't know if they're worth their sticker price though. And you got the front end right here, but I don't know if that's saveable, that hood or not, or whether you'd have to get it re redone. But anywho, all right, we're still walking. I haven't seen that excursion yet. I am looking for it. I will find it. It is here. Watch it be on the like we're walking the completely opposite way. I got to go to the whole other side of the yard probably. Got another Tesla. Is this another plaid? Is this another plaid? No key and it is locked. Huh. Look at that. Smashed. Now that one, that's got some bent, <laughs> bent frame rails, huh? Oof. Oof. Busted cables, wires, connections. That's the only thing with an electric car, man. Like, whew! Biohazard, it says. Is it a plaid? It is a plaid. Look at that, man. It was a brand new plaid, too. Crashed it. Done. Another plaid. What do you want to bet? You're not, not even going to guess. But what you want to bet they had an issue with the brakes? <laughs> what you want to bet they had an issue with the brakes, huh? Oh, man. Well, they haven't cut the line, so I guess that's a positive, right? I mean, there's some, some good things here. You know, if the battery hasn't been damaged and the motors, I mean, somebody could buy one of these and upgrade their existing Tesla to something ridiculous, for sure. That's definitely a thing. Huh. I'd love to show you the inside, but uh, she's locked and there's no keys and it's dead, I'm sure. But is it rebuildable? Maybe, maybe it's rebuildable. Is it worth it? I don't know about all that. Whew. I think Tesla still has that issue that if it's reported as a salvage title, you get Nathan in terms of support and no fast charging. So on to the next one. Now this one has piqued my interest. The reason being is when is the last time you've seen one of these in this kind of condition? Clearly this has been painted. Yes, I can even see the paint marks on the plastic right here. I was like, clearly this is not stock paint. But it is a donated car from Charitable Rides. It is pink, you know. I am thinking about taking a trip to Hawaii and I would need something that, you know, I could, I could put around in. This thing right here, though, is not bad. This is in really good shape. I mean, just, I'm not, forget the color, all right? No roasting me about the color or anything else. This is super cool. Now, I know this is the thing that everybody wants to know. Can I fit in this car? You will be surprised. You will be surprised. Can I fit in the Geo Metro? Let's find out. <laughs> can, I, can, can TK's big ass fit in this Geo Metro? Let's see. I got to kind of keep y'all stable because the wind is going to try to blow. And I got to make sure that these legs are going to keep this thing up in an upright position. There we go. Let's look and see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, man. I wonder how many farts are in this seat. You got to think about that. Am I the only one that thinks about shit like that? How many farts are in this seat? Okay. Oh, well, the original color was white. And this thing was manufactured in May of 1994. She has keys. What do you guys think? Oh, I got beeping. Does it run? It is a stick. Let me make sure it's not in gear. It runs! All right, the brake light is flashing excessively. Uh, there's no power steering. Zero power steering. Let me bring you guys in here. Wow. 
Not bad, man. I mean, it squealed like a some bitch when it fired up, but not bad. Hey, this thing was protected by a club back in the day. Who remembers those commercials? God, I'm getting old. Oh, let me sit in these nice, freshly farted in seats. Yeah, she just needed to run a little bit. And I don't even know if this car came with power steering, to be honest. It's such a damn roller skate. It's probably fine. It's got a Jensen sound system. That doesn't work. There's no sound. Let's see if it catches the station. Negative. Doesn't catch anything, and there's no sound. All right. Well, that's good to know. So the radio... Oh, wow, look at it. Look, when I told you that there's lots of farts in the seats, watch this. You see that? Look at them farts come right up out of the seat. Look, hold on. Farts. See that? Instant farts right up out of the seat, man. <coughs> Damn, hell no, nah, man. Breathing in somebody's ass dust from 30 years ago. <laughs> Let's look and see if we can get the engine open. <laughs> I know y'all like, I'm done with you, TK. Hey, look at that, man. Does this thing not even have a thing to put the hood up? I'm about to say, what the hell? All right, there, we got the hood up. Look at this, man. Three cylinder. <laughs> ah. Hey, man, gas prices is getting up there. This car is worth some money. This is a classic, too. I mean, think about it. Think about the things you could do with this car. See, it's just like, I mean, you got to, I mean, look at this, man. The motor is perfectly preserved because it's completely caked in dog hair and oil. <laughs> the belt looks good. I don't know what belt was supposed to be on that outside one. Probably power steering. That's why it's missing, huh? But the oil filter's right there. And I'm guessing that's the timing belt. I'm betting it's not a chain. I don't think this is a three-cylinder interference motor, so... Whew, the battery looks good. And somebody was caring for it. Look, the battery was just done not too long ago. Let's take a look at the uh, coolant. Ooh, she hissed at me. Find out she got a blown head gasket or something. Ooh, look at that. Nice and squeaky. That, that gasket is nice and swollen. But look at that coolant. It is green. That radiator looks massively corroded, but the coolant is green and not water. I love to see that. All right, let's take a look in the crankcase. Pull, pull off this oil cap. Just take a look in the... Woo! Does not look bad. You know, the cam comes across there at the top, and I don't see... Um, you know, it's not like I can fully inspect the whole damn thing, but it doesn't look bad. The oil is in there. Looks good. Looks good. I don't, I don't, I'm not foreseeing an issue with that. This thing for real, for real might be a little steel. I mean, I'm sure it needs brakes. That's why the brake light's going. Probably the brake, one of the brake lines or something blew up. They used to use those little metal brake lines back in the day. And I'm sure that's probably, possibly what part of the issue is here is that the brake line is just, um, completely and utterly gone so you'd be doing brakes but i don't know if this car sells for like 500 bucks i want it but i mean look look, look. this is the other thing too though like i said you get a car look at the farts come right out of the seat you get a car with your own with, with, you can put more farts in the seats of this car you know what i'm saying i mean the custom, the custom interior, is that like spider webs or some shit in here? Look, I'm over here messing around. I'm about to, so like one of those Instagram posts where some shit just jumps out at you. Look, it even comes with two picks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm really, I'm really interested in this thing. Oh, put her back in gear. Huh. I know. TK, you spend so much time on this damn Geo. Because it's cool, man. It's interesting. You don't see these anymore. You know? Even the struts still look good. They're probably original. <laughs> Yo, the strut mounts aren't even rotted or broken or nothing. What do this thing have? 13-inch tires or 12-inch tires? 
what was it? 12, 12 inch tires. God, I don't even know if you could find those. They're probably on golf carts now. Oh. Let me tell you, man, it's just so cool when you find stuff like this because you don't see stuff like this every day anymore. You just don't, you just don't, you just don't. Let me know what you guys think about the Geo in the comments. Ooh, it sounded like the camera was about to blow over, huh? Let me know what you guys think about this Geo in the comments. Um, I'm definitely considering snapping this thing up because like I said, for the money, it would make some great content. And who, I mean, damn, it's too bad the big showdown's gonna come up before this goes up for auction. Cause I would buy this and drive this sucker to Dallas for the 100 mile an hour challenge just to see. But now we got other plans. But this this right here, man, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely interested, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, and I almost forgot. Back behind the Geo, shout out to Mustang people. We got a Mustang back here. We got a Mustang back here. It's being offered by a bank. So it must be, I'm gonna guess it's a repo. Cause I don't see any loss type. So I'm gonna guess it's a repo. Cause yeah, she looks good all the way around. I don't see any damage. Except that it's, you know, a cheap four cylinder Mustang, you know? Ooh, that is completely dirty and clapped out. Talk about farts and seats, oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Staying on our eco-friendly meme, we have a Toyota Prius. Now, I have one problem with this car. Yes, the clear coat's peeled. Yes, it's probably got a buttload of miles on it. But, yeah, it's being sold by pedal. And, and that tells me like so much when I see that a car is being offered by pedal, I, I kind of know already that it's a bunch of shit. But, oh, she's got power. All right, let's see. How many farts do you think are in these seats, huh? Well, oh, doesn't look like there's any farts coming out of these seats. All right. Someone's going to be making, make a t-shirt, farts in seats. She powered up. Oh, it, it works. It powered up. Gas engine fired right up. Huh. I'm not going to get intrigued. Don't worry. I'm not stupid. Pedal is not going to get me again. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, she's running rough now. Now, I don't know what that... Yeah, there's a check engine light. You got the triangle of death. Oh, I'm hitting the throttle and nothing. No gas, no nothing. All right, so... You got it in, like, French or some shit? Uh-oh. I don't remember how this worked. I think you're supposed to hit the buttons. You're supposed to be able to touch the screen, but the touch screen is dead, so that's probably one issue. All right. The other issue is... Well, it works a little bit down here. Yeah, the display is shot. All right, so that's part of it. The other part is, this is all tore apart. You guys can see that. <clears throat> Throttle has nothing. So, as I suspected, As I suspected, the battery and stuff in here is probably good. We'll take a look under the hood, but I'm not going to waste a bunch of time on this because I'm guaranteeing you it's hot garbage. Like, hot garbage. And I had one of these. What was mine? 07? 
08. I mean, it doesn't look too bad under here. It could just be something as simple as the damn gas pedal is unplugged, you know, the display is shot. But when you're looking at those parts and you're going to start replacing stuff on this system, no, sir, not me. Even if this car, and it's not going to go for a hundred bucks. Some dumbass is going to overpay for this car and they're going to pay a ton of money for this. Yeah, shout out to Gigi's Rage on Instagram. This right here looks like a decent little park car or a rebuild project. Could be a decent rebuild project. You know, she's heavy on Team Mustang. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This probably is the 3.7, I'm guessing, right? Let me look. 3.7 yeah that's a decent motor oof airbags deployed everywhere that's gonna be a lot of work top is starting to come apart I don't know what the hell that is on the back front end is smashed yeah probably a no on this one and while we're here I mean another Mustang that did Mustang things wow you pushed it you know, I could stand in here, man. Wow, you pushed it all the way back. Woo! All right, guys, we might have to put that EOS and the excursion in the next video. You know, I'm trying to keep these where they're not super long, but just long enough that you guys are enjoying them. So I'm going to keep moving here and see if I can find it. But if I don't find it here in the next car, um, well, well, I guess when you see the next video, you'll get to see the excursion, huh? Whew. Damn, that bends, bends down. Oof, V8 by turbo, formatic. Oof. Ouch. That hurt. I don't care what anybody say. That that hurt. Alright, we're still moving. See if we can find them. I would like to finish up with at least the excursion if I could find it. But something tells me I'm going to be looking for a while. What the hell was that? Oh, that was a Mazda at some point, huh? Whew. Jesus. All right. Well, would you look at that? A Corvette in green. Huh. Title Max, huh? So it probably runs and drives just fine. It's just someone didn't pay their damn title bill and got their shit took. Oh, look at this. It's got the quad tips already. Yeah, you can make this a good little beater, man. A little vert for the summer in Vegas? I think I might. Oh, man. Look at this, man. Oh, man. This is, this is, I don't know. Five star, long life, pre-dilute. Nope. All right. So, look, there's several bottles of antifreeze. That is a big warning sign. Let's see if she runs. I bet she don't, but let's try it. Let's see if she has any power. We'll give her a shot. See if I can squeeze my big ass in here. Oh, all right. Now, I will say this this is my kind of owner. You have a bottle opener, it says Edelbrock on it. I like you already. I'm sorry that your shit got repoed. Damn, man. Oh, this sucks. You're gonna make me get all the way in here, huh? Oh, it's got power. This is kind of like Swamp Vet that Randy had with these gauges and stuff. Let's see if she fires up. Ooh! It runs. Let's see if she's smoking. Oh my God, it runs and it sounds good. Oh my God. Yes. I am all about this right here. 
Oh man, oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know I saw the antifreeze bottles and my mind is telling me no. My wallet is telling me no. But my body, as I squeeze my ass in this car, it's telling me yes. Why that leather seat's hot, my ass. Oh look, look, look. Low coolant. Damn, so you, you're putting coolant in this thing just to drive it. Where's the damn telescoping wheel thing, man? Oh, here it is. All right, get the wheel down. I can even smell the coolant. Oil temp is low. Coolant temp is going up. We're at 119. I'm going to watch it and see if it goes up. It's going up pretty quick. She runs good. I wonder if it just got like a blown radiator or something. Something that could be fixed fairly easy because, and it looks like it only has 54,000 miles on it. That is not a lot of miles for this car. Now the coolant temp is creeping up, 150. Normal running temp for this should be 180 to 205. But she's also dead empty on gas, which you guys probably can't see. Yeah, there you guys go. But that temp is going up, and it's going up quick. Let me shut her down and see if she keeps going up. We'll turn her to the on position. Oh, the fan works. Woo, I smell coolant. There was like smoke that just came back by this way with coolant in it. I smelled it. That sweet coolant smell. Look at the temp. It's still going up. 180. Yeah, I bet you she got a blown head gasket. Look at that, 181, 182. Let's pop the hood and take a look under the hood and see if, uh, the hell's the hood release in this car? That's the parking brake. Stop it. Yeah, about to say. Come on now. All right, let's pop the hood. The temperature's still going up. She's off. And we got a temp up at... 189 she's kind of hanging out there not going up as fast now that it's off so it definitely has a blown head gasket i'm guessing that'd be my guess let me get out of here real quick oh Whew. all right let me put you guys right here and we'll uh sorry for the camera work you know we're like we're like mint mobile out here we're saving money by not paying for camera guys all right let me make it. And no, I'm probably not going to edit none of that out either. All right. Let's lift this. I think it lifts up from this side, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's heavy. And it locks. And I see coolant and stuff strewn all over the inside. And you can smell it. That fan is pumping away. And it is trying but you can see the splatter all up in here. Now, and I can see it over there. Let's look and see if we can see what it is because this could end up being, and there's another one right over there. I could probably use for parts. This right here though, and you can see it. You see the coolant spray like where something had leaked or sprayed i bet you either that radiator is cracked or just straight up bad that's my guess the fan is working like a champ it's trying its best but it also could be a blown head gasket let's pull this dipstick and take a look at the oil itself doesn't look like it's, it ain't got no water in it doesn't look like water doesn't look like milkshake, looks like oil. You know what? I might be stupid. I know you're gonna say don't do it, TK. I might be stupid. I might take a risk on this one. Definitely gonna need tires though. Look at this shit. Dry rotted in the treads. Whew. Well, What do you guys think? This is an interesting, this is an interesting proposition for me here. I just had to Google something I've never seen 
or like really messed with it. I think this is the C4 Corvette, right? So I'm like, how does this thing go down? So I, I see that see that nipple right there, fellas? This should be real easy for you. Stick your finger out and just caress that nipple a little bit. Don't, don't pinch your finger though. And then get it past the hole and then just lightly put the hood down because you know you don't want to break fiberglass. It's expensive. Not to mention very heavy, by the way. Whew. All right. Well, that was interesting. I like this one. I really do. I really like this. Huh. I mean, yes, I, I know you're going to say, TK, you're a fool. It clearly is missing coolant. But look at this. The temp did get up to 190, and now it's dropping. See that? It's at 163 and dropping. So it didn't get too hot. I mean, I didn't leave it running either. But if it has a clear title, which I'm sure it does, this sucks though. Let's see if I can fix this. So this top would definitely have to be replaced because this top is on some Mickey Mouse level stuff. Oh, whatever. So this top is definitely going to have to be replaced. You know. But the rest of the car, man, I mean, the paint's not great. I'm sure it's a Mickey Mouse paint job, but for just the car to go out for the summer, like out to Red Rock or just to go out and roll it down the strip, this thing would be fun as hell, man. Huh. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. See there? Got friggin' sidetracked. <laughs> Saw some crazy joint. And then we got another Corvette over here which I don't know what the mechanical situation is with it. And then we have this A8 right here. So, you know, it would be definitely um, interesting to say the least. Definitely interesting to say the least. Huh. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. Maybe we'll look at that in a minute. And then we got the red vet right here and this one's got all kinds of fiberglass damage but i wonder if the engine and everything is great on this because this could just literally be a parts car you know i know the other one's a convertible this one's not but like it's got seats you know huh Possibility, possibility. Oh, no, this is newer. So what is this? The other one's a C4, right? So this is what, a C5? No, I thought the other one was a C5. No, this is a C5. So this is a C5 and that was a C4. Okay. They're not the same. Never mind. Pay me no mind. And that Audi does have the 4.2 liter V8. That thing's a beast. The Quattro, they're just a money pit, man. You need a lens here, just replace that whole that whole uh, light. Let's see if this thing even opens. Probably not, right? <sighs> nope. Sometimes they tape them where you can get them open, but not this one. There we go. Huh. Oh, you see all them farts come flying out of that car since I opened the door? Woof! Damn, farts everywhere, man. Woof! What is this? Is this another one? Stop it! Stop it! There's another green Challenger! This one looks like it's a regular RT, huh? Ooh! Not so bad, though. I mean, yeah, the suspension is effed and that fender is done. But the hood looks okay. The bumper and stuff looks okay. It's just a RT. It's just a RT. It's nothing crazy. And it's here from Toro. The brake lines and the caliper looks okay. Yo, even the... Sh I bet you this thing needs suspension. The wheel. The fender. And this thing might be okay. This thing might be okay. Oh, wait a minute. All right, this fender is ripped right here, but this stuff can be metal worked. This right here could be fixed. 
I wouldn't replace this fender. I would metal work this and make this right so that this could be put back in. Nothing major there. Mirrors look good. I don't see any dings in the body line. Looks good. The interior. All right, you got the fender that's all beat up is in here. That's a win. Interior looks good. And it doesn't even have the food stamp seats. It's got the nice Alcantara seats too, man. Man. Yeah, man, the nice interior, man. This thing right here would be a nice little pickup. This is a nice little fixer-upper, man. Sucks that it's sitting on this other car. But all that is fixable, man. All that is fixable. Huh. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. That's interesting. I'd have to change that hood. I need the scat pack hood on it. I can't do that. You know, replace that fender. Man, I'm going to have too many damn green challengers. <laughs> oh. All right. Whew. I am not seeing this expedition, which means I bet, because you know it had the buy it now price on it for 10 grand. I hope somebody didn't buy the damn thing, man. I really wanted to snap it up at auction. But that's how it happens. You know, move, what do they call it? Move your meat, lose your seat. You know, if you don't jump on an opportunity when it's there, it's gone. So, bop, bop, bop. Hey, that mini right there is toasty. Say it with me. Toasty. Done. Done, the done, done, done. Wow. All right, guys, last but not least, and we will get to that expedition if I can find it and the EOS, because I know the EOS is still here somewhere. Here is the Tornado from Oldsmobile. I haven't forgot about it. They're waiting, I guess, like on another title or something to come in for it. It is on my watch list. It is not going anywhere. I will be snapping this thing up ASAP, man. AS. AP. This is one that I am willing to throw the bag on because I think it's super cool. Some tires, a little bit of work to it, you know, little little paint on the other side on that one part where it's cracked. And this thing could be something special. And I and I, and I want it. And I want it. So you guys will get to see this soon. Like I said, I haven't forgot it. It's still here. It's still here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's live walk around portion out here at IAA. If you enjoyed today's video and you like what I do, you could do me a huge favor by giving me a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and you're enjoying the videos. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you never miss out on whatever I'm doing out here at whatever auction I'm at. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. No live auction today. Just wanted to get you guys a nice long walk around in looking at some different stuff so you guys can see what I might be trying to pick on on Friday. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. We're getting back to this more on a regular basis. Still going to do my news stuff. You guys seem to like the commentary videos with the news and stuff about automotive stuff. And um, I'm going to continue to do those. I'm going to continue to do those videos. Um, but, you know, I'm going to get I, I got to get into my bread and butter before it gets too hot out here in the desert and it's nice out it's windy as hell i got sand in my eyes it is what it is but um i'm enjoying it hopefully you are enjoying these videos let me know in the comments thank you guys very much for watching i truly appreciate it and i'll catch you guys very soon on the next one peace